and uh, my friend Brick is here. <laughs> hey. And so we have, and so we have all these. I like that a lot. Um, um, I, I sushi sasa as great sushi oh, is my favorite go. sushi in town. Are they doing takeout so, and delivery? They doing that. They do okay. so. Okay. So and uh, Wayne is a good friend, and I like that. Uh, I love that um, a lot. I um, another Italian restaurant that do a really good to go right now is actually Barolo. They do a really good job. And uh, if I have to eat any other Italian restaurant in town, we eat that one. Uh, okay, Barolo. Yeah, out they there, do a great kind job. of up, it's up my way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, um, and so uh, my favorite to go Chinese food. Actually, it's Peter's, the one in 12th and Elizabeth. Dude, yeah. That's right next to my house, dude, too. Peter's dude, Chinese. Thing, dude, Peter is the shit. He's a, he's a crazy, crazy motherfucker. Dude, uh, he doesn't fuck around. He doesn't take, like, exception to his food. He doesn't <laughs> fucking give a fuck. But if he likes you, <laughs> he, he does like me. Every single fuck. He likes me. I'm good to go. But if he doesn't <laughs> like you, he's like that guy from Seinfeld. No soup for you. The soup Nazi. <laughs> one time I, I actually eat inside his restaurant. They have one table. One, right? Yeah, it's literally just like a, a kiosk when you walk yeah, up. Yeah, and there, I like sat at a table it. and it felt so weird because everybody was delivering and to go. And I was by myself. And he looked at me like, the fuck you leaving here for it? And I was like, I love you. Get your, out of here. Your fry rice is delicious. So that's what, that's, those are my picks, buddy. I like it. I like it. And you gave a couple in my neighborhood. Um, you mentioned Barolo. And so I do have a question. I have a friend who has been looking. Obviously, this was pre Dia. I know your sister is back in Italy as well. He's in Milano. Yeah. Yep, yep. Milan. And so I want to know a little bit more about the Piedmont region. I just got a wine delivery. Um, I got some Nebbiolas from the Piedmont region on uh, Alba. Sweet. Yeah, nice. they're really nice. One of them's going to sit and chill. I'm going to have the other one a little bit sooner than later. But I had a friend who had mentioned and looked into it, and there's some very affordable real estate on vineyards and cool things. Tell me a little bit about the northern Italian region of, you know, that area and the wine. No, yeah, yes. There. Yeah, well, <clears throat> funny things is people doesn't know, but Italy is mostly mountain from north to south, everywhere. But the biggest valley is called La Pianura Padana, where Lombardia and part of Piemonte and part of Veneto are connected. It's the biggest valley in Italy. It's a really, really large flat land surrounded by the Dolomites and the Alps on north and the south from the Apennine. And so they have the biggest long river in Italy called Po. It's like the Italian Mississippi. And, uh, and because the, every river comes from a mountain, they connect to the Po River, to the lake. It's a very fertile land. And so yeah. also, Delta very lake. humid. Yeah, very humid on a summer, very foggy, humid in the winter. And what that does, create a microclimate that's perfect for wine growing. Summer, very warm and humidity. So grapes have very thick skin, a lot of sugar. And uh, because a lot of heat at night cool down easily. And so their wine country is incredible. And uh, not only that, the food is incredible because we have truffle and mushroom. The sea is just next door, so we have a lot of seafood coming by. Uh, it's a very rich region. Now, clearly, is the most damaged region in the world, even more yeah. than China. And they're losing 700 to 900 people a day. That is incredible. My sister is in Milan right now. And, um, and that's not far. It's, it's not Torrent. Like, I know Torrent is right there, but Milan. Torino is Piemonte. Yeah, yeah. They're all. I love region. Torino. Yeah. Yeah, I love Torino. You know, Juventus is my soccer team, is in Torino. I love Piemonte because my favorite wine mostly are from Piemonte. I'm a Barbera guy, I'm a Barbaresco guy. Oh, Barbaresco. That's me. I, I love that wine. That's my. That's it's a great favorite. wine. I know. And I love the nobility of the region because remember the kingdom of Italy was, the king was in Torino for about 200, 250 years. Then the king, when Italy became a country, the kingdom moved to Rome. But before Torino was the kingdom, was the capital of the kingdom of Piemonte. They include uh, Piemonte, Liguria, Val d'Aosta, part of Lombardia, and Sardinia. And so, uh, as a lot of nobility, and also they're very famous about it, Chocolate and hazelnut, Nutella is from there. They have a dank you know, ass It's a very big truffle what? area. They have cheeses, truffles, oh, yeah. white truffles. No. The white truffle is from Piemonte. The black truffle is from Toscana, Umbria, actually. 
and Urbino. And but by, by the way, truffle is the shit, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you get a, if you get a little tagliarini with white truffle and butter, and that, I mean, that's it. I mean, then you can just take a shovel and just dig your own grave and go away. Cause that's the day, dude. That's what. So I mean, I'm gonna try to start start planning a trip to go visit, scout the area. See how it is, you know. Maybe yeah, take the podcast abroad, go goof off for. A you little. know what? You should. And by the way, a lot of people love to smoke ash in Italy, so you should do a stone <laughs> petit with an ash kind of angle. Man, you I know, mean, we try to, me and Chris try to bring the hash angle every week. If it's not hashish, then it's definitely the MMJ. Or but MMJ. let me tell you, uh, I know a lot of winery there, and, and if you do a podcast, I can I get you I'll get you hooked up, but dude. Boy, yeah. Hook me up. Let's do it. Let's look. Let's, let's. Yeah, but take- now, now we can do shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, well, we're gonna wait. I'm the for legend. Couple weeks in the. Meantime. By the way, I see a dog. I see a dog walking by you all the yeah, time. You know, weird. if you die, is is you die? It's gonna eat you. You just let you know. <laughs> Say what? It's gonna eat you. He's gonna <laughs> if eat you me? die. He's gonna eat you, <laughs> dude. He's um. Yeah, check that pupper out. That's Jerry right there. He's the beast. Um, what's it called? And then Chris has shock around here. Chris is cooking up. We have a Sunday supper that we've been – he's drumming some stuff up just for home entertainment. But, you know, for those that, you know, they get sick Fantastic. of cooking. You know, some, sometimes, you know, you get tired of cooking, and so you want to order out or you yeah. want to take out. And even if you've had a long day of the day job or having to deal with kids, you know, Il Posto can feed the whole family. Let's let's run through that menu real quick. I'm circling back. I want to get a good uh session Yeah, of course. There. Let's talk a little bit about fun, fun. best uh, things we had. Yeah, let's talk about right. burrata. We, we make our own burrata with prosciutto, right? First of all, uh, we have our insalata with chickpeas and carrots, mustard greens, and um, roasted vinaigrette, ricotta salata is amazing. We have a fogliame. is a, a mix of roasted vegetables together uh, with uh, with a zucchini pesto. Then with a pappardelle, you know, pappardelle are famous as fuck. So man, I love that. And then meal. clearly orecchiette with yeah, and then orecchiette with arugula pesto, uh, gnocchi with braised beef chicks and carrots. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's with that mi- gnocchi? Uh, brief, brief, braised beef chicks and carrots oh. and pecorino. And all, yeah, that, up, buddy. Do these all travel well? Because that sounds like these all. Yeah, yeah. Hit. And what would uh? So no, no, they travel. They travel very well. Let's say two They're entrees, so two whatever sides for a, a couple, or would you say you know a burrata with a little prosciutto and a. By the way, our pasta? price are like our prices are really low. Like pasta is thirteen dollars to ten dollars. Oh wow! We kept a really yeah, low. two or three of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a this is a hard time situation. So the chicken milanese. 16 bucks, $15 for the sea bass, you know, okay. uh, the burrata is 10. I mean, we keep it tight. But oh, but what I suggest is this. If you claustropo- if you really need to leave the house for do shopping, stop by El Posto, get some food, and get some wine. We sell wine like li- liquor store price, like rosé for $15, $12 is great. So come there. Shop, get some wine, get some duck eggs from a from a, this ranch in uh, Buena Vista, and get some other fucking food and go home and party. I like where your head's at, and you know you need that ability to kind of break away on occasions. You can't just a hundred percent of the time be able to cook at home, stay confined, and not have any interaction. You got to kind of assimilate a little bit of normalcy, whether it be whatever you may have been eating. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, and that's the objective. So what's the best way? Do you want us to call you directly or do you want us to go through one of the, the so, apps? So go with posto.com. We have a link from Toast. You can order automatically. You can call and we prepare the order for you. You come in or just walk in. But I suggest this. Call in, get the order. When you come in, grab your food, buy some wine, go home, get naked, be good. There you go. There you go. Well, Fritzy, we love you dearly, brother. I appreciate you doing this recap. I'm going to steal some pictures from your Instagram, or I'm going to have you send me a couple. So we'll do. Uh, we're you. going to drop these quarantine chronicles as many times as we can this week. A couple of different episodes. Hopefully, everything recorded properly. We're honestly new to this. This isn't our usual thing. So, yeah. But uh, we think we're learning a lot. We're we learning. We're learning a lot about who we are. 
as people, you know, we're, we're, we're in yeah. tune to, we help each other when one's in need. And so we are, we're calling on the Denver community to continue to support the local businesses that are allowed to stay open and service those folks. Um, let's try to keep, you know, the lights on at as many restaurants as possible. And, you know, Fritzy, I appreciate you not only giving us some recommendations of places you like to eat, but keeping your doors open to keep us fed. So thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Me. Yeah, man. So, can't, wait, can't wait to party with you again. <laughs> no shit. I miss you dearly. And we'll drop that full length episode as soon as we get out of quarantine and we can pump the dining, uh, the dining in. <laughs> By the way, FYI, you know, the little drink you give me last time. Uh, yeah. The, Dixie the night Lickson. you left, I, I drink half a bottle. I didn't write the extraction. I got so freaking high. I thought I was like Jim Morris on the desert. I was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So for those that are curious, definitely swing sure. by Live Well. They're still considered essential. You can grab weed from them. That's where uh, I got Fritzy's uh, care package from. Thank you, by the way, for those guys. Thank you. Appreciate hey, it. Thank you, brother. Thank you for doing everything you do. Send my love to your – I know you have company over there right now, so thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. And hey, we Kip. look forward to seeing you soon. Love you, brother. I love Keep you safe. too, brother. Cheers.